If you have been hanging in the Five Nights at Freddy's community for a while, you have surely noticed that some members have made themselves known with real-life animatronic creations like DL Electronics for example, Dr. Creepypasta or even Vomited Thoughts. But lately, there's been examples of real-life spring dog suits going around and I'm one of these people trying to make spring dog suits into a reality for good reasons, I swear. So then, what's the big deal? Are multiple people just in a rush to complete the first ever working functioning spring dog suit? Well, this video is an extraordinary opportunity to announce that ever since last year, I have been working with Space Robotics. I'm going to kind of explain how it's all supposed to work. I worked from 2022 to last year on my first ever Springlock mask prototype and would you guess, I have met Smith Robotics along the way. We developed a sort of friendship and I, I saw that his skills were and um, plans were extremely similar to mine. Smith Robotics and me started working on one unique project, a spring body and machonic suit. So does that mean that we are both working on the same robot? No, we are living in different countries we share the same ideas and thoughts. So yeah, uh, two different suits are being made right now. One by me, one by Smith Robotic, with different mechanisms and interpretations of the spring locks, which I will go over here right now. First off, Smith Robotics. Uh, his spring locks are more in line with the games in terms of the suit, design, and the mechanisms, being a one-to-one -one when it comes to the arm spring locks using some sort of telescopic spring-loaded rod to lock the arm in place. Some stylized elements stick out, like the endoskeleton head, for example, uh, though. His suit is fully 3D printed and is well on its way. You can watch his channel for more updates, but I won't say too much about this, that's just the main details regarding the suit. Note though that uh, a lot of our mechanisms are similar. For example, we have to take parts out of the costume to wear it. My suit, which is still in prototyping stage, uh, will be taking a more re realistic approach, mixing the game endoskeleton with the movie mechanisms, being more heavy duty, and possibly having metal parts integrated in them in the future. This approach is more mechanical and experiments with the design while keeping the original one in mind. Either way, this collaboration guarantees that either of us will complete our real life spring lock suit sooner or later, so keep yourself tuned in and be ready for more updates. So yeah, um, little note here, I'm nearing a very big breakthrough when it comes to spring locks. So be ready, basically I'm near done with my main, sp main spring lock rings for the arm and the red cage as well. And when that will be done, things will get a thousand times quicker and easier for me. 